Welcome to Auckland University of Technology. My name is Steve Pointing and I'm Director of the University's Institute for Applied Ecology New Zealand. We have a mission to engage in research across the breadth of New Zealand's natural habitats and beyond to global environmental issues. We're strongly committed to research that has value at the science policy interface and as such has real impact on how we understand, value and protect our natural environments. The diversity of New Zealand's offshore islands are unlike anywhere else on Earth, spanning from the sub-Antarctic to the subtropics. The islands support breeding populations of a quarter of the world's seabird species. Seabirds are important because of their role as ecosystem engineers, influencing island food webs and whole ecosystem function. Seabirds are also important indicators of the health of the world's oceans. Unfortunately, introduced predators and multiple environmental stresses continue to threaten seabird populations worldwide. Over the last few decades, the New Zealand Department of Conservation and others have developed novel methods to remove predators and help restore island habitats. My research focuses on how island ecosystems respond to the removal of predators and how they might respond to global climate change in the future. Understanding the ecological response of islands to multiple threats means that we can develop strategic management plans to better protect and enhance these unique and valuable ecosystems in a changing world. Hi, my name is Barbara Breen. My research focuses on finding innovative solutions to really complex conservation issues. I use innovative technology together with geographic information systems and remote sensing to try and gain insight into these environmental issues. And I look at scales that range from microscopic all the way through to global issues. I currently lead a team at AUT and I also work in partnership with a New Zealand company called Skycam and we develop these UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles. We use them to capture multispectral images and then use those images to gain insight into ecological and spatial phenomena. This technology is really versatile. It allows me to map really complex systems such as grasslands, wetlands, mountains, islands, you name it, the sky is really the limit. Hi, I'm Rebecca Jarvis, a PhD student studying conservation and socio-ecological systems, connecting the dots across disciplines to explore how human environmental interactions affect life on Earth. To do this, I'm using social network analysis to figure out how the different conservation groups and organisations are actually working together in conservation. I've also developed a survey tool so that anyone can go online and enter their own information on how they use and value the Gulf. This information will then feed back into the Sea Change Heriki Gulf Marine Spatial Plan. So in the aquaculture and fishery space, we're investigating the sustainable use of New Zealand's marine resources. Uh, my research in particular is around utilising seaweeds, both uh, in terms of farming and harvesting, but also increasing the sustainable use of some of our inshore fisheries, such as surf clams and gooey duck. One of AUT's strategic goals is to increase industry participation in our research. And our research group's been very lucky in this regard. In fact, last year we picked up a national award for research commercialization with one of our commercial partners. Humans need to access marine resources for a variety of reasons. And our job as applied ecologists is to make sure that this is done in a sustainable fashion. My name is Kat Bolstead, and my main research interest is the high diversity of cephalopods, mostly squid, that we have in New Zealand waters. Our country has more species of squid and octopus than any other country in the world, and we find new species here on a regular basis.
I study the systematics and ecology of these animals from the very smallest fire squids of the family Pyrotuthidae right up through the giant and colossal squids. These animals are voracious predators and they play a very important role in New Zealand's marine ecosystems. My students and I undertake projects looking at the systematics, the ecology, the genetics and vision, especially in deep sea squid, seeking to better understand these beautiful and fascinating animals. The Institute's mission to understand, value and protect our natural environment extends way beyond New Zealand's shores to global environmental issues. Perhaps the greatest challenge we face today is climate change. Antarctica is the engine of global climate, and so understanding Antarctic ecosystems is key to any climate change research. Global research requires international partnerships, and the Institute is fortunate to enjoy strong collaborations with several institutions worldwide. These include Antarctica New Zealand, who provide our logistic and field support in Antarctica, and the United States Antarctic Program, who manage logistical support to and from the Antarctic continent. We also have international partnerships with universities and government agencies as far afield as North America, Europe, and Asia. We're adapting our aerial drone technology for use in Antarctica. We're able to survey landscapes that are threatened by climate change and understand how the systems will respond to future climate scenarios. The common thread to all our research is that our outputs are relevant at the science policy interface. We aim to provide solutions that are relevant to global environmental issues.